Yes, that's Joe Bleen here, and the episode two of Man City Career Mode is here. So first things first, massive thanks to EA for taking me down to the London Capture event to record this gameplay early. These videos are presented by the EA Game Changers Network. So we start this episode off finding out that we have signed Nine Golan. Nine Golan is in the side. 54 million, we've got 130 or so million to spend. I want to make two two or three big additions to the squad Man City squad don't need too much doing to it they've got a pretty deep squad I've got the main player I want anybody else is purely for vanity really we've got some good players I just want to add a little bit of impact to myself so we sign Ben Brereton as well as a youth for one of the targets um, and just because I like that player in real life and hopefully give him a little game here or there John Stones was moaning because I didn't start him mate our men in company are better than you I'm going to be training you all season and you will get your chances I'm just going with Otamendi and company is my first choice predominantly company is probably going to get injured at some point anyway you know what he's like we do want to try and get Ronaldo Vieira from Leeds as well but we're going to leave some delegating 18 18 to that um, and see how we can do there but the scout saying that it just looks like he's not going to be as cheap as Brereton because Brereton for 2 million was an absolute bargain we are also going to shift out a bunch of our loan players most of them I've already listed for loan and the officers slowly coming in but here we have it accepting the offers 9 games already signed and that's Ben Brereton officially signed now 9,700 a week not too bad 66 rated but he's got a lot of potential in him we probably won't see that potential all the way because we've only got one season but hey I'm sure in other career modes as the year goes on people will be getting him very high indeed but we are going to submit that for Ronaldo Vieira just because why not hey we've, signed, we've loaned out Denny A loaned out he's not featured in the squad we're mainly going to be running with our first 11 not too many changes for this season it's only injuries that could get in the way of things but um, we've got an idea let's try and sign a player who can play out wide or up top we've got we've got Aguero we've got Gabriel Jesus let's sign Mertens I'd, I'd fancy a bit of Mertens in the side we can play him out wide we can play him in the middle if required I'd mainly play him out on the left with Sterling on the right I like Sane but I want someone who's already a little bit more established than Sane because why not we've got the money to spend so let's spend it we're going to delegate out here for Ronaldo Vieira going to offer him his weight he's at 3 million we can get him just a little bit more than this and then so what, what are we putting in again here? Sorry, I just have recorded all this over this weekend. Coming back to it a little bit later. Uh, what did we put in? Four million we thought would go up to there. Like, that should be fair. Brereton, he was 1.2. We got him for two. And Mertens, we're going to do delegate to buy because we don't really need to go through that cutscene every time. The cutscene is nice when you see it the first few times, but then after a bit, you kind of just want to get the player signed and move on. If anything, the cutscenes are better for like career mode watching um, but after a while I'm sure you'll probably agree after you've signed a few players you kind of just want to get it over with the only risk with that is that you set these perimeters and if it doesn't go your way you haven't got the chance to counter it more so you've got to be careful with some of it but we are going to get ready because we've got Real Madrid in our final group stage match of this friendly tournament and due to that sim gloss against Munich we've got to get a win here if we don't get a win we're out and we're not getting as much prize money as we would have wanted so we've signed Nangolin for that holding role we're going to play Jesus out wide for a bit just because I like using Jesus he's got the five star skills I do make only use only a couple of the four star skills but it's nice to have a five star skiller and we want to game trained up and improve don't we so why not get some squad rotation going on all that good stuff um but yeah 433 holding we're going to start with we may at some stage move to a 4 433 attack with a cam instead of a cdm because nine golden is not a proper proper cdm he's more of a center mid to go forward backwards down left right wherever you want but you see there munich on six points juventus on three points i was on three points and madrid surprisingly on zero points so not the best starts for Madrid in this um, friendly tournament, but we're raring to go. We want to get some. We want to get a win in the bag and um, progress to the next stage because prize money helps. Have some of it go to the transfer funds just to make their movements a little bit easier for us. 
but we start off quite nicely now we're in the 4-3-3 three, three instead of the 5 at the back we do want to use a lot of wing play we want to get Sterling involved trying to thread the ball through I do like to play wing play and Man City have got the right place to be able to play wing play Sterling is a very good player on this game nice explosive pace of energy he's got some nice skills and ball control and he narrowly misses 27 minutes in got game still nil nil and at the stroke of half time Madrid do have an attack with De Thomas knocking it to Ronaldo who can't quite get there and we do manage to clear the ball quite comfortably in the end to blow the whistle for half time not too much to report on in that first half pretty boring closely contested middle of the park game we are going to make some change on the 60th minute bring some life into it Silver, Sione, Sane, Danilo, Stones all coming on get some rotation in there get some fresh legs hopefully we can assault Sane we want to assault from out wide Stones decides to have a little bit of a run gets into the box he's going to try and cut it across to Aguero but it's well defended out and the danger is eventually cleared we just can't clear but before that it does come back in and we get a foul on the edge of the box and I'm thinking right I'm rusty with free kicks let's see what we can do terrible I tried to hit a low hard driven shot and it went straight against the wall and eventually smothered by the keeper and now it was their turn Vazquez from Cruz Vazquez is holding it around looks for Carvial who's pushed forward Carvial is going to push it to Cruz Cruz is going to make a little drive of it pass it to Ronaldo Ronaldo is going to find Cruz who's made space for himself and he's going to let an absolute Cruz missile off of that home seeking missile into the top right corner and we do go 1-0 down with 88 minutes gone I'm thinking damn it looks like we're going home so we go all our attack push forward but we get hit in the middle of the park on the counter not much we could do about it the attack did not come to fruitation and Vazquez is going to run down this right he's going to find Benzema who's going to find Cruz and Cruz is going to make it 2-0 Cruz has absolutely cut us open in the final two minutes of the game but after that first goal it was it was score or go home go hard or go home we went we pushed out sadly it didn't come off we lost we went out but that's okay the friendlies are just there to get used to the squad and we can now focus on the league we do want to try and make a few more signings just before that though so we've already got Brereton and Nangolan Mertens and Ronaldo are in negotiation and Leicester want to sign Wilfred Boney almost forgot we still had Wilfred Boney obviously in real life he has gone to Swansea and due to the build we were playing at the capture event not all transfers had been completed just yet and then we found out the news that delegating probably wasn't the right idea with Mertens because the delegations broke down and we was not able to secure a deal to then offer him a transfer so one thing you do have to keep in mind say you do think cutscenes may get boring from time to time after you've watched them quite a few times if you're not in them cutscenes for the negotiations you're not going to be able to negotiate and counteract offers if you set what you want to go between that's what's happening if you can't come to agreement between that it goes and you can't try and sign the player again for the rest of the season like you'll see later on even in January I just went to inquire about some players you still, you still couldn't but we do have the negotiations here because as you saw there we want to sign Insigne couldn't get Mertens let's go for his teammate instead who is an out and out winger and this one goes a lot better we had the transfer accepted we went to the, it was a smooth process they were happy to accept and Insigne was happy to get on board he is four years younger than Mertens as well so he's got age for growth obviously we have only got one season with Man City but we've got the age for growth there and Insigne is happy to come in. He was plan B as opposed to Mertens. But in in hindsight, he's probably a better option than Mertens. Because Mertens is incredible. But Insigne is a more out and out winger. And that is where we're going. So we've got the Premier League. It's the start of the season. We're way at Brighton. The fixtures are all in the same order from what I understand. Because obviously City did start away at Brighton in the Premier League. We've got all the Premier League infographics. It looks all nice and swish. Looks very smart. Almost like a real-life football game. And Insigne has handed his first start straight away. Drafted into that lineup. And 28 minutes in, we're going to have a run with Aguero. He's looking for space to De Bruyne. De Bruyne can't quite get the shot away before being tackled by Sutner. And Dunk is eventually going to clear it. The, go the goal stayed nil-nil. It was a very tough opening game. Rainy night away at Brighton. Brighton's first game in the Premier League after coming up last season. And it was up to Insigne on the 40th minute to make a run, do a little skill move, pop the finesse off and make it 1-0. Dream debut for Insigne. Could not ask for more than that to break the scoring on your Premier League debut at your new club only days after confirming the deal. 
what a lad he was. He was going to go down in this club's history and the fans are already singing his name. Insigne, Insigne, score a goal for us. That's not what they're singing, by the way. I just tried to think of a song in my head and it did not come off. Maybe we'll think about one as the series goes on. Get a little bit of a chant going for some of the players as they become club heroes. We're going to the second half and it's pretty much more the same. We're just trying to attack and break down Brighton here. Sterling's hitting the post. We're just not getting any chances. That's about the best Brighton had had so far. They were defending well, but they weren't offering much in the attack. And Sterling just couldn't complete his shots he couldn't complete his crossing it looked like it was going to be a 1-0 victory and it was Insigne won us the three points there on his debut I'd like to say the defence did the job but Brighton really didn't offer much at all there was not really anything from Brighton there but as I said in the first episode because we only had I only had like two days to record this career mode and I need to get some ultimate team and stuff done the general consensus of most episodes will be two games and two sims just to make sure I could get the season done, keep it short. The episode, the season, the the um, it's probably going to be about fifteen or so episodes, which should take us up to when the full game comes out. And if you are all still, still enjoying the career mode stuff, I'll get another one done in the final game. But it does look here, Insigne on it again in this sim game. Two goals for Insigne, one for Sterling. Three-one win over Everton. Great start to the Premier League. And then we've got a sim game against Bournemouth Sunday, the August the twenty-seventh. The transfer deadline is closing. But We've got a game in Bournemouth to play first. And then Signe is going to get a yellow card early doors. A bit frustrated maybe from him. And then Gosling's going to score. And then Insigne is going to get a goal. Insigne, perfect start for him. August play of the month maybe. What's that? Four goals already in his first three games. 60, 70 mates minutes in. And Sterling's going to break the deadlock to make it 2-1. Our wingers are on fire. And that's good because that's the way I want to play. I want to wing, play wing play. And so do they when I see them. It's like they know how I want to play. It's like the game studied what I wanted to do during the games I played. And there we go. It three games in, three wins. But let's have a better goal difference. And Chelsea are just behind us. So do leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here. Come follow me on Twitter at JBleanHQ.